to Javai Jassam and uh, recently one of my student given the interview in uh, Tech Mahindra company and they asked some coding questions so I am going to explain you one by one each and everything. So they have started with the like thread questions and in the threads uh, they ask one questions like hey can you create a two threads so what we have to do is we have to create two threads okay using the executor framework and these questions they ask for the five year experience java developers okay so he have a five year experience he given the interview okay so create a two thread using the executor framework and try to print odd numbers with one thread and another thread will print even number one by one so it means your output will be one one thread will print uh, even numbers or odd numbers anything any orders so what we have to do is thread one thread one will print odd number or thread two thread two will print even numbers okay like that things we have to repeat for 10 times or 20 times it's your choice okay again thread uh, three they will print and they will print fours like that even odd even odd one thread will print even number other thread will print odd numbers okay so these questions we have to do using the executor framework so let's start now and how we can do is i will explain each and everything okay so let's create one class so i'm going to create one class uh, print even odd print uh, even odd numbers by thread one by one you can do it so let's suppose uh, we have to create a main method so let's create it the main methods and then after so we have a print even odd number by a threads those we have to do so let's suppose we have a main method inside this and how we can write a logic for that okay so for creating a thread with the executors we can use the executor service okay or executors so we have a executors in that executors we can take uh, new fixed size thread pools so we need only two threads so we can give the size as a okay so executors dot new fixed thread pool will create the two threads for us no need to implement any um, thing like uh, runables or thread class and create your own uh, classes and then after provide it that is not required you can just write like that okay e x e c u t r this is the executor threads so very easily we have created two threads okay and then after we have to write the task like which task executor have to perform and how we can provide the control on that so that they will uh, they will print one by one so in that case the main role will play by the two things one is notify notify methods and other will be wait methods these two methods are very very important what we have to do once odd number is printed we have to put this thread into the waiting stage and other we have to activate again with the notify okay so like that we have to use the concept and then we have to print it okay so let's write down the course uh, like uh, the task how we can write it so let's suppose we have a one like uh, task which is runables okay so with the runable interface we can create one task like uh, print odd numbers and this is the one task so they will take uh, lambda expressions or we can write a function interface for that so they have a run method so we can write okay let's suppose and curly braces open and close inside this we can write one task and in the same way we can copy paste and we can write the other task also which is print even numbers okay let's format it so this is the two tasks which we have to provide the control on that 
and we have to execute with the help of our executor framework they have a two threads exactly so executor dot submit or execute we can write it and let's suppose we can go with the submit and we can submit the task print odd okay submit print odd and then after we can print finally even numbers so executors we can submit the task and they will do those operations and finally we can do the sort out sort down of our services okay once it is completed we have to stop those also so executor dot sort down okay that is the role of our executor framework that's it but how you can write a logic to provide the control on these two tasks that is very very important or very very important questions for us also okay so for that we are going to maintain one flag okay so for that we can maintain one flag at the top levels okay in the our class level also we can write it and uh, we can execute it so let's go with the class levels and i am going to write uh, private uh, statics so this is for the both threads statics final uh, public statics uh, static or volatile also we can take it okay so volatile also will help us not take finals because we have to change every time those data okay so we can go with the public statics volatile okay this is the keyword which we are using volatile boolean and this is the flag so is odd is odd turn odd off is odd turn so we can write is odd turn and we can by default we can give true whenever event turn come we can make it false okay that is the logic we have to keep in our minds okay so is it odd turn let's write a logic here so whenever you are coming in the print odd numbers we have to check first hey is it running and make sure we have to print like even odd even odd one by one so let's iterate some loop so i will go int i equal to let's suppose 5 to i less than equal to 20 and i plus plus okay and inside this loop i will use the synchronize block okay and in the synchronized block what i will do is i will write uh, our odd even classes odd even like uh, what are the print even odd numbers threads this class i will use to block as a class labels okay and inside this what i will do is in the synchronized block i will check hey is it uh, waiting stays w h i l e so let's suppose w h i l e while if is is uh, odd turn i will check if it is odd turn if it is not a odd turn or if it is odd turn so based on that we can write a condition so if it is not a order it means if odd is false then send this particular thread to the waiting stage so what we can write it we can write class labels print even odd dot class and object class having a method called wait so those method we can use it okay it is so simple right but it's asking you can write this line only in the try catch block okay so this line should be contains only try catch block then only it will work so let's suppose and provide the try catch block also so we have written this line in the try catch block okay 
and it's done in the same way in the same way and if it is not a odd turn so it will not go inside the loop it will come outside of the loop so in the outside of the loop what do we have to do we have to print those data so we can write s out odd numbers odd numbers and uh, also we can mention one more things hey odd numbers is uh, let's check if it is odd numbers then only print it so for that we can uh, use the ternary operators and we can print it right so always it should give the odd numbers what we can do so 5 then we can do i equal to i plus 2 right whatever the i we have we have to assign in the i plus 2 so it will increment indirectly okay like that you can write it it's easy and then after what we have to do is in the same way go and write the logic for print even so in the print even itself also we can check hey if it is even numbers okay and then we can print it but once you print it here it's a i and then after if you want to know the thread name which thread it is you can write here uh, something called double quote and give some space and then after you can write uh, thread dot uh, current thread dot get name and with the name also you can print it okay once you printed the these things okay odd numbers then you have to make it our odd turn is equal to false once it is false okay notify the other thread okay so for notifying the other threads we have to take the help of this class it's a synchronize so we can write out this class dot notify you can't get directly so you have to write class dot notify so it will notify the other threads hey please start executions so it will uh, notify to other threads and it will do the remaining operations okay so what i'm going to do is the same logic we have to write here also so let's copy paste copy this logic print it here and start with uh, not like uh, five let's start with six okay and always increment by two that is fine and uh, also do the synchronize block and here is odd is true then just block it waiting a stage otherwise go and print here even number and uh, just print the i and then after current thread and make it true okay make it true and then after finally notify the our other threads okay so this logic will help us to print all those numbers okay that is very very important logics okay so let's run this code and if you see it's printing first odd numbers is 5 pull one thread even number 6 pull one thread 2 and odd number 7 pull thread 1 thread 1 thread 2 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 like that is printing and if you see like odd even odd even odd even odd even it's printing also so like that if you want to implement you have to take the help of this and you can implement it easily okay so i hope you guys you understood this is the one of the questions which is they ask for uh, five year experience java developer in the tech mahindra so i hope it's very very helpful for you so you can also prepare for that like how we can implement it then only you can get selected in any interview okay thank you so much if you have any doubt let us know then we can resolve it okay do the comment also if you have some other approach to do it in the easy way Okay, thank you so much.